everybody, this is Dan for Gamer D on Cars. Uh, it is a scorching Friday here in Mechanicsburg. Uh, just woke up, working nights last night, but I'm done with work for the week. So what my dad and I are going to do today is we're going to ceramic coat the Bronco. Um, I was, uh, a company reached out to me called Avalon King and they actually sent me two different boxes of this uh, ceramic coating. This is it right here. This is called the Armor Shield 9 by uh, Avalon King. I'm just gonna do that. So I, they sent me this product for free and asked me to try it out. So we're gonna put it on the Bronco. Now supposedly this gives you two years of protection uh, from the elements. It has the hydrophobic qualities that if there's like water, it doesn't have any water spots, if there's any sort of debris on your car, you could just sort of wash it off with water. So we're gonna try that out. So I wanted to just document this process a little bit. Now my dad is, he's a pretty good auto detailer. Um, he actually had a little small business after he retired from teaching of doing auto detailing people's cars that he enjoyed. Um, so I gave, I got two boxes of these. I gave him one to try out in his cars and now we're going to do the Bronco and hopefully later I'm going to do the Audi as well. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to go too crazy with the washing process because I'm going to wash the Bronco quick and then we're going to apply this. So here we go. Two hours later. Okay. Now that I'm a sweaty mess, we brought the Bronco into the garage. We are completely drying. Now, one thing that Avalon King recommended and we did it and I was a little skeptical is that they say to wash the car with Dawn dish soap. And this is supposed to remove any like cleaners or waxes or something. Say hi, Dad. Hi. The original Dan Gamble in the house. Oh yeah. Um, but they say to wash the car with Dawn dish soap, which I was a little skeptical because never did that before. But even though this is a factory new paint job, they say just to get everything completely off. So we brought the car into the garage to dry it. I guess we're going to go little by little. I'll show you the process, but we are in the drying phase. All right, quick update. I got my doctor gloves on. Dad's shaking up the stuff. Shaky, shaky. We're gonna do a little, we're gonna do a little test strip right here on the inside of the hood just to see if we can get it right. Okay, so Dad is putting six drops, eight, eight drops of material on the little pad here, which you wrap a thing around. Okay, that was adding the stuff to the pad, applying the product. Yes, applying the product, as they say. So we're doing like small sections at a time. We did like the little from the kink up. We did the fender flares, which I'm gonna take off in a second. But he's gonna do about half of the door. And the goal they say is to get like a sort of rainbow, they call it, they, it say, they say it flashes. And I'll try to get, try to see that. Yeah, you can see right there, the line where he, yep, right there. We're leaving the product on for a minute 20 and then I take it off. So this, this fender flare has been done already. I don't know if you can kind of see in the camera, but I'm gonna take it off. I guess it's kind of hard to see through the camera, but he's doing it. We're gonna wait a minute 20, to take everything off. I think it's good to go a little section by section. He goes this way and then you go up and down. Yep. Start. I don't know if you can you can kind of see right there where he stopped applying. Like we didn't do that section, but right there. I don't, I don't know if it's coming across in the camera just because of the, the brightness, but you can really tell after like now you can kind of see it right there. There's a little rainbow effect. After like 30 seconds or so, you, you start to see that and that's where you can tell. So you can tell he just went, yeah, they call it flashing where it just, I just wanna, he just went over the panel, just a hair right there. But I mean, I'd, I would say this is sort of easier than applying like normal wax. I mean, the, the application process is definitely, you don't have to push as hard and it's just as easy to take it off. Now we move to 
the other side and I think you can, yeah, you can see how they call it flashing. So I'm waiting the minute 23 for this section. So you can really see what that looks like. It's similar to, I guess, a normal wax. So we just did from this body line up. That's sort of what it looks like when it's ready to be uh, removed. So I resorted to using my hard hat light just to see. You can see the paint so well with the light. So he's doing the grill where it's like gloss black there. This light really lets you see everything. So the, the things we do for perfection. So we are almost complete. We just put it on the windows. It actually looks really, really good on the windows. Dad has just taken off the last of the uh, windshield. So let me show you the window. I mean, it looks, I mean, you can see the reflection of the Audi there so well. I think it looks fantastic on the windows. And I'm very excited about the windshield because I found, I don't know what it is, if there's mayflies or just super bad, but this windshield just has been getting destroyed with bugs and I, I know this will help for the rain but I think it will, will help for the bugs as well so that here's the product right here armor shield 9 so again big thank you to Avalon King for reaching out and giving me this product to test out so I'm, once we're completely done I still have to do the wheels you know we've done everything but the four wheels and the rocker panels right there so once I'm done I'm gonna put it out into the Sun We'll see how it looks. So from what I can see so far, it looks fantastic, especially the glass. All right, I got Penny with me. We are officially done with the ceramic coating and I think it looks fantastic. I think it looks just about as good or better as the day I got it. Um, I'm very, I said before, but I'm very pleased with the way it looks in the glass. But yeah, this thing is, is super, super shiny. So once again, big thank you to Avalon King for reaching out and giving me this product. I. I Think it's fantastic i can't say enough good things about it the bronco is protected for at least two years i'll be excited to see when i get a nice big rain how the water sheets off of it but yeah ceramic coating by avalon king thanks a lot uh stay tuned for lots of cool bronco videos i'm going to do lots of other car reviews as well hope you have a good day and i'll see you in the next one see you